All right, well guys, it's done. The plumbing on my 2001 Beaver Patriot Thunder. I finished up that manifold. We'll try to do this in real time. Let me take a look. Look at that, it looks beautiful and pristine. Uh, right here, I actually added a uh, water pump switch so that I don't have to go inside to turn on the water pump. But um, pretty good pressure. Water pump's not running yet. It just kicked on. Can you guys hear it? No, you can't hear it because it's all quiet. I built it to be quiet. Uh, this right there is the uh, safety switch for the uh, dump tank valves right there. So those won't work and the ones inside won't work unless that switch is on. Before, this is how you were supposed to get to the sewer hose, but of course now you can see that's where the manifold is. I did label it with my sloppy handwriting. The bottom ones are the low point drains for winterization. Uh, galley hot and cold, shower hot and cold, washer dryer hot and cold bathroom and this is for the exterior shower right here but also that's the uh, tap off to go to the aqua hot and then back to the hot side here so it's a little bit tight on that side to get the valves but it is possible i just didn't think that moving this whole thing over half an inch was worth the hassle uh, right here there was two more valves uh, they aren't weren't being used so those holes i just used some stainless steel knockout sink covers and then right in here you can see I just have really good access to the uh, holding tanks now. I added some spray foam down there to support the plumbing a little bit better. Because uh, the sewer hookup was a little bit loose, so I just glued it all back in there. Uh, same with uh, the holes that were in the ground, or the, the floor. So all of this, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Even the uh, <laughs> part cable reel. It was mounted upside down, it was binding before, so that's all fixed. So now the sewer hose just gets stored in a tote container right there. And this is the Drain Master sewer hose. So this is the high-end one with its own shutoff valve down there. Previous owner installed that for me. I would never have done that, but it's nice to have that. And then I have this tote right there. Make sure I keep the uh, city water connections in an extension cord and of course the all important knee pad. These are just gonna be adapters for electrical and extra plumbing parts if I need them, including everybody's favorite little uh, water measurement tool. What do they call that? The save a drop. It just shows you how many gallons you're using on fresh water. I did have a comment that the OCD would bother them that the inverter was mounted, uh, I guess, crooked. But I was forced to do that because the uh, cross member right there is actually about an inch and a half up. So instead of adding a spacer to the cross member on the frame, I wasn't going to do that. And then uh, this bracket that I made to mount it to, I had to uh, do my best to thread the needle with the bolts not damaging the air lines and the harnesses on that side and the hydraulic and fuel lines on this side. So I did use... Uh, stainless steel carriage bolts so that it's not sticking up and we're going to be rubbing on those hoses and harnesses. Overall, really pleased with the way that turned out. I, I couldn't be more pleased, especially because I can turn the water pump on and off on this side. Speaking of the water pump, if we go around to the other side. I don't know. I probably have chairs in the way now the manufacturer beaver did have this set up before i replaced the water pump added an accumulator and this is a winterization hose for it now rather than having a valve because i find those be more problematic than they're worth you just disconnect the hose right there and you'll hook up this hose put in the non-toxic antifreeze on the other end of it turn the water pump on and pump it out uh, that's just a rodent trap a low point drain on this side and the only thing I really have left to do is replace the ice maker uh, water filter. Got everything put back together and I'm really quite pleased with it all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me rebuild my plumbing system right here. I think it was uh, worth doing and doing it right. I actually forgot to explain what this was. That's the fresh water tank fill, so you hooked up the city water right here. Just move that valve over and it'll fill up fresh water tank. There is no gravity fill on this one, which is why the previous owner wanted to add a 
electrical freshwater tank fill. I still might add that down the road, but not currently. Uh, the previous owner actually did <laughs> something pretty funny too. These are keys for those doors or hatches. They embedded into the knobs of those uh, valves for the manifold. That would have been there before. It, it looks a little bit weird to have these before. This would have been sewer hookup or the sewer hose storage. And this is where they had the macerator. But we don't have a macerator anymore. But I am quite pleased to have that kind of access to the uh, water system if I need it without having to take the panel apart. I think that's it, guys. Looks really good. Hope that answered a lot of the questions. Other than one more is where I got all my supplies. It's not a very big secret. I did get them from Home Depot. Nothing special at all. I get way too much because it's easier to, for me to return the stuff than to make 15 trips. I lose interest at that point. Luckily, I only had to make two trips with this one. All right, guys, I have other work to do finally. Have to give the beaver a rest and get on the slide out tomorrow, maybe. Bye.